June 10th, 11th, and 12th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The sun is in Gemini and the moon, dink, dink, is in Virgo. It's a perfect T-square. And this weekend's very important because in Boulder, as we mentioned, there's a Hanuman festival. It's a yoga festival with the best yoginis from all over the United States coming together to do their practice. Because why? Because when you practice together in a unified field, when there's a group of people all focusing on taking their bodies and turning them into a temple and respecting, then yogis become an access point for wonderful healing energy. However, there's that giant grand cross, remember? The sun is in Gemini and Saturn's in Sag, opposite. Then we have moon in Virgo, opposite is Neptune in Pisces. And next to the moon, you can look up in the heavens this weekend, you'll see that the moon and Jupiter are holding hands. So there's a lot of mutable energy. And I'm doing the keynote this weekend for this festival, for the Hanuman festival. And you know that feeling when you get nervous? It's what this energy is all about. All this mutable energy makes the mind get all busy and when you feel like you're not getting it right and the critic is up and you're looking in the mirror trying to fix it. That's the downside of mutability because Gemini's talk, talk, think, think. Sag gets sloppy and wants to play. Virgo wants to pick them apart and Pisces starts to space out. Uh-oh, where were we going again? And with that kind of energy, you can feel very unfocused. So I've learned, thank God, said the Gemini, that if I focus my mental body by using meditation or quiet or simplicity or taking notes with me, said the Virgo to the Pisces, I feel prepared. But still, it's that icky feeling when you're standing in front of people. They say the three greatest fears are dog bites, standing in front of people, and death. I'm not scared. Do I look scared? I'm here to tell you that if you have fears, if your mind starts to trip you up, it's, I call it MSU, making stuff up, and your mind starts to have this like university course where you're thinking of all the worst things. The job with a big, giant, grand cross when there's a square in the heavens is to find the placement of your mind, which is in its seat, where you're in charge. And all astrology is about is me helping you understand your funny personality type and make fun of you. No, not really. But that's what Geminis like to do. They make fun of themselves and say, so if I make a mistake and I'm a little nervous, and the keynote doesn't go great, but you still like me. Astrology Answers asked me to come to you to tell you about astrology, and so far, so good.